Hello and welcome to SISD TV News where we deliver the latest news about the Socorro Independent School District. In our top story, Montwood High School biomedical students competed and won at the Samsung's Software Tomorrow competition in Texas. One of the biggest things is SISD does offer the resources where students can have the opportunity to continue their research. Uh, we do have some of the most upgraded facilities here. We're able to really have access with EPCC and UTEP and gain those relationships where they can continue their research. This competition is aimed for students to get involved in their community and find something that needs improvement. The students chose to improve skin grafting by creating Dermabubble. Dermabubble um, is basically an alternate to skin grafting, which is more environment friendly and also skin friendly. So because some people have allergies to fish skin and because skin grafting can be painful, this is something that we wanted to make easy to access so any general surgeon can apply it to patients. And also we wanted to make it durable and flexible to allow patients to have full range of motion as they heal. I would love for this project to actually become something that can be manufactured and tested on humans. And I would just want like, I would want burn victims to be able to have this opportunity to get well. It feels great. Um, you know, this is my second year doing Samsung Solar Tomorrow. I was just part of the state finalist last year. Um, but being a state winner, it's, it's great. You know, I, I'm really glad um, that I worked on this project um, with my partners. For a second consecutive year, the Socorro Independent School District hosted the Black History Month Art Contest where more than 200 students from the Socorro, Isleta and Gadsden School Districts celebrated African American achievements in the arts through their artistic visions. It's a themed competition, right? So we follow the national theme. So every year it changes. So this year it happens to be African Americans in the arts, theater, dance, music, uh, art and literature. Um, and so it's forcing the students to do research on figures that they maybe normally wouldn't have known about otherwise. Um, and so in reading the labels and, and talking to the kids, even us as adults, are finding out things that we, we didn't even know about, these great figures that we should know about. And so um, when you present these opportunities to kids, then they learn and then they educate the greater public. I think there's a lot of good like artists in the African American culture. So I I just discovered a lot of more people in doing my research for the competition and I really admire those people. Robert R. Rojas Elementary School students took part in the No One Eats Alone Day to combat social isolation and encourage students to make new friends. So we selected our fifth graders because uh, they are the leaders of our campus. We actually have a student council group and uh, those officers um, came together with us in the planning phases and they decided to take the lead. So they will actually be working with all of our grade levels. The initiative aims to promote mental health and inclusion among youth. During the week, we are going to come out of our classrooms to be with the lower grades so they won't feel uh, that isolated and they could get out of their shell because there's a lot of kids that are still stuck in their shell and trying to get out. Students get to experience new things with others, with others and they get to see who, who is a better influencer and like what like what kids are a good group to hang out with and what groups are not. Team SIZ students celebrated Digital Learning Day and its impact on education at the 7th Annual Academic Technology Showcase on National Digital Learning Day. The annual event welcomes students from all grade levels to compete in different challenges showcasing their technology skills and creativity, critical thinking, communication, and teamwork. So this year's theme is Amplify Tech and the challenge for all of our students was to develop an app that would leverage and amplify the use of technology to solve today's issues. Student athletes across Team SISD celebrated National Signing Day with ceremonies commemorating their signing of letters of intent to play at the collegiate level. I'm very excited. It's um, my 
my been my dream. It's, it's not complete yet, but it's part of my dream. It means a lot, you know, trying to start up a new program, you know, at a at a new school that most people don't know about. But me and my guys that already signed, we're we're gonna put it on the map. My season isn't over yet. Still got two tournaments, and I'm very excited to finish the season strong. And then uh, look forward forward to my new uh, life as a college student wrestling. Something I've been dreaming of since I was four years old, and it's unfortunate that like my senior year got cut short due to an injury. But I know it's a part of like God's plan, and I'll come back stronger. Honestly, uh, just like I said again, it's a blessing. Uh, I'm not far from home. Uh, probably only about a 20-minute drive. My family can come to the games. It's so yeah. Uh, I mean, it's nice for me and the family. Well, I've been working for this since I was three. Um, so I just feel like this is a big accomplishment for my athletic career and also academic career. SIZ high school students participated at this year's high school science fair at Socorro High School. Students had the opportunity to showcase their scientific projects and research. We have some students that have worked on their projects from middle school on to high school. And so they just keep adding on to their research every year. We have projects that this is their first year they've participated, but they did amazing. Um, we did see some students uh, bring in other areas that they're working on, like welding. We do have a project that uh, some students welded their model and their prototype. So it was really neat to see that, that they're bringing in other skills that they're learning in other areas into our science fair. It's a great opportunity SISD provides. Being able to be in a room with like all people that are interested in different science topics is just Really interesting to see how overall science just brings everybody together. Whether it's a sociological project, I've seen people do robotics, and how like it all align, it all comes to like the same alignment of the sociological method. So it's so interesting that, like that SISD brings us all together from all different schools to just showcase the passion of science. That's our show for today. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the latest in the Socorro Independent School District. Make sure to follow us on X with the handle at Socorro ISD. Follow our superintendent, Dr. Nate Carmen, with the X handle at Carmen Nate. Also, be sure to friend us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Team SISD, and visit our website. Thank you again, and see you next time.